Hi friends, I'm Hayden. My friends and I are going to have a parade. We started thinking of all the fun things in a parade, like fire trucks. <laughs> and marching bands. It will be really fun and really loud. But our friend Sam does not like loud noises. And I don't want Sam to stay home because our parade will be too loud. So I thought that we could have a quiet parade. Will you help me? Wave your pretend streamers with me. Wave them high. Wave them low. Wave them all around. That's great. Hmm. Oh, I know what else we could use for our quiet parade. Rice shakers. These aren't too loud. Shake your pretend rice shakers with me. One, two, three, shake. Great job. We're gonna have the best quiet parade ever. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Playing the quiet game, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. We're having a quiet parade because our friend Sam doesn't like loud noises. That's a great way to love. It's true. I know someone who loved everyone, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, and today I am also the Neighborhood Parade Leader. <laughs> it's a great day to have a great day. I'm delivering some invitations to the parade, and something exciting that you see at a parade is... Confetti! <laughs> There's confetti everywhere! Which reminds me of our story today. Do you want to hear it? Hooray! Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. We've been learning how to love like Jesus. And just like confetti goes everywhere, Jesus' love goes everywhere too. And to everyone. Jesus wants everyone everywhere to follow him and be his friend forever. Today's true story from the Bible is about the first 12 people who followed Jesus. They were called the disciples. Like Peter and Andrew. They were fishermen out trying to catch fish when Jesus said, Come follow me. So they did. James and his brother John were fishermen too. They were out there with their dad when Jesus said, Come follow me. And they did. In the next town, Jesus found Philip. And then Philip brought Nathanael to see Jesus, and he followed Jesus too. Then there was Matthew. He had a different job. He was a tax collector. Matthew followed Jesus too. Then there was Thomas and James and Thaddeus and Simon and Judas. Whew, that's a lot. Let's see, do we have all 12? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve! We did it! These were Jesus' twelve disciples. All different people from different places with different jobs and different families. But Jesus chose them all to follow him. Now, why do you think Jesus chose different people? Because Jesus loves everyone. He does. And Jesus wants us to love everyone, too. Jesus wants us to love <laughs> everyone, everywhere. Hi, Ali. Tell me, who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Who can love like Jesus? I can love like Jesus. That's the truth, friends. Bye.
So there's your story. And it's all true. Jesus was friends with everyone. And he wants to be friends with me and you, too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, Jesus loves everyone, and Jesus wants us to love everyone, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I'm so excited for our quiet break because everyone can come. I know what else we need. Confetti. See you next time. Bye. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17. A friend loves at all times. Proverbs 17, 17.